is a little bit echoey. It's actually a lot of bit echoey. Let me open the door. Will that help? Oh, it does help. So before we dive into like going outside into the sun and just having a nice day, um, I wanted to just kind of give you an update. I never really do too much skincare stuff and um, I'm gonna do a updated night routine a little bit later. I actually got sent a product. I've only used it once or twice just to like make sure that it works and I want to introduce it to you and we're gonna go on this journey together. So a Swedish skincare company called Foreo reached out to me. They're most known for this like crazy cleansing tool, I guess it is. It's all of their stuff hooks up to their app on Bluetooth and it can like read your skin and like what it needs. And apparently it just does this amazing deep cleaning massage. But they recently released this new product called the Bear. And it's like a microcurrent product and I have been really interested in that because a lot of Korean skincare companies, like a lot of um, the clinics, are using a lot of microcurrent stuff. Even when I got my, my microneedling, um, that incorporated microcurrent. For at-home stuff, I was kind of like, I don't really know about this. I saw enough people on YouTube doing it and then skincare specialists critiquing them and saying like, wow, that's actually really great that you use it. So, we're like i said we're gonna go on this journey together i'm gonna try it this is what i got it is the bare mini there's also a larger one and the only difference is the size and then this one has three levels of intensity and the larger one has five i first of all really like that it's quite small and it's supposed to help with circulation it's also supposed to which i'm excited about ease facial tension so i'm just gonna start it My face has the same feeling that I get after I get a like lymphatic massage where they're really like pummeling my face basically. I can feel definitely the like circulation. I got this um, just to test out the Fig Boosting Essence. I actually really like it. Kind of sticky. It personally does not bother me in the slightest. Does it bother Kurt? Yes. This Quad Active Boosting Essence which has got lots of nice honey and black tea. And then I've also been trying this new Claire's product, the Fundamental Water Gel Cream. Um, for summer, it's really light. It kind of is like a very thick essence or a very watery lotion. Busy Gal Brows by Tarte, and this is in the color medium brown, but I normally would use taupe. So for redheads, I actually found out about this from Madeleine Pesh. She's also the one that I first saw using a microcurrent device. It's like a mascara for your brow. And then I have started to use the Pacifica Stellar Gaze Mineral Mascara. And for those of you who recommended this, thank you. I love this mascara. It's a vegan. I love it so much. And as a final step, obviously sunblock. This one I really like, but disclaimer, this is the new one, Midday Blue UV, UV Shield. This white casts on me. But if you are any bit paler or any bit darker than this, avoid but this sunblock they're just usual uv essence amazing i'm gonna put those on gonna get dressed and let's head out for the day once again um thank you foreo for sending uh the bear mini over um i'm gonna do a one month and then a two month update information will be linked down below go check them out especially their like weird cleansing thing that's like a phenomenon off we go
morning. I have come over to the Anguk area, like the Bukchon Hanuk village area. And I don't know, I just wanna walk around, wanna walk around here. I always love this area. So that was Onion, a cafe slash bakery that I have brought you to before. Completely empty this time. Very excited about that. Last time there weren't any seats when I went, so. I just read a book, got a coffee, and now, since it seems to be still really empty right now, I'm gonna go to the Hanuk village. So yeah, let's let's just explore. Devant chez moi, les autos me déposent. Tout ce que je fais est grandiose. Mais quand vient le doute par l'autoroute, tout ce que je fais me dégoûte. Quand je me sens au top, je prends les gens en stop. Tout ce que je fais. Now it's a bit louder so I can talk. Man, you're supposed to stay really quiet in that area, but usually there's at least like a lot of people around. So there's just like footsteps, general soft voices, but that was just dead quiet. There were a couple like construction workers like cutting down trees and stuff, but that was it. Ooh, I feel like, I don't know. It was almost like a meditation, you know, when you go in somewhere really quiet and then you come out and you're like, oh man, the real world is so noisy. That's, that's about where I'm at right now. Um, things aren't really open yet. I came out a bit early, so I'm just kind of walking around. I've really got no plans. I just kind of came to a neighborhood that I love a lot. So yeah, I, uh, we'll see how this shapes up. I've got a place I want to go for lunch. I don't know, I got plans, but they're very loose. So <laughs> oh, let's just enjoy the morning. Ils remuent dans leur dos Devant chez moi les autos me déposent Tout ce que je fais est grandiose Mais quand vient le doute par l'autoroute Tout ce que je fais me dégoûte Quand je me sens au top Je prends des gens en stop Tout ce que je fais au kaleidoscope Si mais de derrière me regarde de travers Tout ce que je fais est à refaire <laughs> Amazing. Jusqu'à ville juive, les soucis, je m'en fiche, je me souviens de toi, les adolescents à l'opéra. Okay, I'm not sure why, but it seems like every shop on this street has a like beautiful black and white portrait of the person who owns the shop and I don't know why that is but I love it I love it <laughs> I think it has to do with this photo studio I think they took all of the pictures for the people of this street and it makes me very happy <sighs> Se prélasse dans leur vie T'as des danseurs à l'opéra Ils remuent dans leur pas Que la 3D au cinéma I've walked a ton and this neighborhood smells really good So we're gonna get a very early lunch And I'm really excited <laughs>
gleeful. That was so much food, it was good. And that was the same price if you watched my previous vlog where I got soup. All of that food was the same price as those two little cups of soup. Um, just to put that into perspective, Korean food is always cheaper. Anyway, I'm in Insadong right now, just across the street basically, because my dear friend Olivia, pain in my neck, um, finished the Osolok tea that I gave her a while ago and she said that she really liked it and because I am just the best friend in the entire world I'm gonna go pick her up some more and then um I don't know just walk around I don't necessarily want to get another like drink or a coffee I just want to kind of lazily walk Ooh, there's a Magritte exhibit okay I think I just found out what we're gonna do okay tea Magritte fantastic so many different ways that I could purchase this. <laughs> So next time, next time. So I get a lot of ads on Facebook for these really small Korean brands. And what they basically are, are just people who like will go to the wholesale markets here and buy a lot of clothes and then sell them under like their brand. So it's like they're curating the stuff, but it's not like they've designed it or anything. And I've seen so many of them that I recognize like 90% of the clothes in that place from other stores. Like basically every store has like at least one of the same item. And the prices are always like vastly different. And it just it just makes me laugh. That's the end of my rant. I'm going to walk to Iksandong because there's this new beautiful cafe that I just want to look at. I'm not going to go in, but you'll see why. I'll stop talking now. Let's just let's just walk. for the restaurant next door and this place looks really beautiful so I just decided you know what screw it I'm going in so I'm getting a matcha and some I think yanging like some treat that Kurt would call me a grandma for eating isn't it I'm surprised this place isn't overflowingly packed I'm pleasantly surprised it's so calm I'm happy. so I somehow ordered myself my own hand drip but it's green tea. <laughs> Place. 
Hello. Strangely, my phone died, which is annoying, but that's fine. Um, so I'm actually, either way, I was planning on heading home right around now. It's about two o'clock and um, I've got a bit of work to do that I need to be at home for. Maybe we'll do something interesting for dinner. I feel like I always promise that and then I never film when I'm having dinner because that's like the only time on weekdays, like dinner and then after dinner is like the only time I hang out with Kurt and I don't like filming when I'm like trying to spend quality time with people. So um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this time. I'm sure we'll get up to something. So I'll see you a little bit later. But thank you for joining me today. This was really nice to just like have a day, to just like go back to my roots. This is how I used to, to film is like, just pick a neighborhood and wander around um, instead of having like more of a set schedule. So I don't know, it was very nice. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna go get on my bus and uh, God, pass out from this food coma I ate so well today. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, off to eat. Yeah. So we're getting really, 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 really spicy. Just empty that whole container. Did you put potato? What is it? Half a potato? Half a potato. Oh. That scared me. It was already in my mouth. It's not showing up on camera. But I'm sweating. Did you just snap at me? Oh my god it's like it was so hot and then we just ate such spicy food that we're both like drenched in sweat but it's okay i feel cleansed i feel great um so i am going to end the vlog here thank you again to forio um for sending me over the bear mini excited to keep trying it and like I said, they have like workouts that are guided for you, which is really great because when I ever do skincare, I always zone out and I always end up doing like one side a lot and then the other side not. So it makes sure that you're even and all that stuff. Um, but you can also just do it yourself however you want, especially like for me, I have a lot of problems. My lymph nodes here, this one, oh God, there's one literally, I'm pinching it right now. It's so big. I, God, I feel like I'm becoming a grandma when I talk about my health. So I will stop there, but yeah, I will give you guys an update. So thank you for joining me and be sure to check the info in the description box. Um, yeah, like I, I mentioned this recently on Instagram, but um, I haven't physically left Seoul since February, which is like the longest I've ever stayed in the city before. And I'm just like itching to get out, but because of the virus, I really didn't support people who were like, moving in between cities at a time like this. Now it seems to be more under control and like everybody's on the same page as far as like health. I know how to be safe. Like I'm not making silly mistakes anymore with like my mask or whatever. I'm gonna slowly venture out. Like I'm talking about maybe an hour bus ride outside. Um, but I just, I really wanna make my outside of Seoul content again. I miss it. If you're new to this channel, you might not even know. I have an entire playlist of outside of Seoul content because I am very passionate about getting outside of the cities. Korea is more than just Seoul. Um, so I'll link that down below too if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna go wipe my face off, 
get a nice cool glass of water and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.